up you guys it's trashy and we're here back with momo mondays and we're in the world of warframe the alien ninja assassin action mmo instance based rpg blah -de blah 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 as far as i'm concerned this game is just an instance based action mmo like all the other ones that have been coming out recently great um you know you have a gun that's the difference. <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's about it. Um, let's go into settings. Look at the settings real quick. Um, you can change your regional. It's okay. There's a lot of settings here for uh, such a fairly new game. They're still in beta, I believe. Um, can't remember the publisher. I, I'm sorry. This, it's just wrong for me to forget about the publisher, but they should really put their name somewhere where everyone can see it. Hold, wall, all this stuff. Invert. Plenty of options for you to play with. I don't care. I just don't care. Um, so this game is instance based like I said before. Um, there's a couple of unique things that you can do to your character. They have enhanced customization but this game is really pay to get anywhere. Not pay to win but but pay to get anywhere else in the game. You, you, you're gonna have to buy something. I promise you. You can upgrade your armor with these little cards that you can insert in slots and the ones that have these little icons on them, they will they will have. So let, let me show you. So say so you see these two? It says two. It would cost Okay. I gotta say this better. I don't this is kinda last minute. Okay, so slash dash has has a two right at the corner. Right at the corner. I, would, I can't point to it, right th there, there, okay, look, it just has one at the corner, okay, and it says I have three left, you know, for mod slots, so I can take this two and put it in this thing, it'll subtract one off of it, it only costs one, just like, just with all the other mods, it'll cost one less, or whatever you want to say, and then you can apply and add more mods that may cost the exact same amount that the card says, um, all the weapons have their own separate customizations all too, also, each gun and each sword, they all have separate things. It's its really just how it is. Um, so there's platinum, and then you have the regular credits. Regular credits are in-game money, and then the platinum is out of game. You know, real cash costs a lot of money. Too much for me to care about. I, I'm all about the free-to-play. You know, if you can give me this, you know, for cheaper, I'll take it. I will, I will take it. But if not, you're going to be a punk about it. Um, then I don't want it. Um, I have three things in my inventory, boop, boop, sentinels, don't have any, you know, that kind of stuff. They, they changed the HUD recently, and I like this one a lot better, actually. Um, have all your mod slots, you can get rid of your mods, you can combine your mods to make stronger ones, and all that kind of good, 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 delicious stuff that you would do, it's sort of a crafting method. Um, they do have a, an alternative crafting system in the foundry. Arsenal. Like Lotus said, that's what you do. Okay. And its components. Like she said. Search ships and defeat enemies to obtain components. The components found are influenced by the region of space you are in. Shut up, Lotus. I, I don't. I don't care anymore. I'm trying to explain this game to the people who want to know about this game. Boundary. Foundry. It's pretty much where you get, like she said, the blueprints, which you could buy in the market too, and then you can build them in the foundry if you collect all the parts. But otherwise, you can't get them. So you might buy a blueprint for two. Let, let's see, what's the most expensive thing I could buy for blueprints? For fifteen thousand, I'll buy this. You don't have this weapon now. You literally have to go and unlock it. Uh, you have to go find all the pieces, which might be in different areas of space, or might be out through the entirety of space, and you'll never find some of the parts, because some of the, the bosses don't even drop the parts as often as you like them. You'd have to play that map over a hundred times just to play, to play the thing. Like, are you serious? I don't want to do that. Um, also, the HUD's kind of clunky, where you have to go back to this ma map, even though you're online, to actually play in anything. So you have to unlock slowly as you go. So, I guess we're in Venus, so we'll just click on the next... Oh, no, we're at Mercury. I, I just haven't played this game, to be honest. So, let me let me click on that. Why can't I... Why why can't I uh, play? Can I play? Can I play? There we go. 
and then it lets me in the game because this this HUD is just so clunky. I hate it. I joined Filipina Joe, and we're gonna get into this match because you you hot join matches instead of actually being inside of a match, you know, to start off with. And sometimes there won't be even people playing, so it doesn't even matter. Now I'm playing with three people. That's always fun. Let's get into it, because I pretty much covered everything else, and I feel like the volume is super loud, but it probably isn't at all. Um, I guess the match has started. In these crates, you can find uh, Affinity. And Affinity helps you level up your armor, so that you can have more slots and blah, 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 blah. Well, they don't, do they? Well, I'm just gonna, you know, steal all this stuff. Um... I do enjoy one thing in this game, and that is is the movement. The movement is so much fun, it is ridiculous. You can slide and then jump and then do flips and then shoot all at the same time. And you go And then slice people in half. You see how much fun that is? But at the same time this game is uh fairly uh stupid. And the fact that, where am I supposed to go? Oh wait, it's not this way, it's the complete other way, and I wasn't paying attention, so you, the game let me go through the entire ship without, you know, realizing that I don't have to go that way. Fun, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, it, 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 it just glitch. See that? The gun is shooting me, there's no one there, but there's a gun still going off, shooting at me. And that's, that's always the fun times, I promise you. And you know what else is fun? When you start doing a mission, and then you get kicked from the game. You get kicked at the end of the mission, and then, you know what, you can't, you can't do anything about it. Because now you have to go do that mission again with other people that you don't necessarily want to do that mission with. And I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not entertaining to, you know, do the mission multiple times even though you've already done it. But, it's also just fun to enjoy the game when you feel real smart about it. I guess they've implemented something called nav coordinates, which I have no idea what those are. Uh, I haven't played this game in a while since the last update, so this is a beta version, so I might re this game. This guy's dead. Heal him up. There's a lot of glitching going on right now. Lots of lag, I can feel it. I can feel the lag. Can I level up? I leveled up. But this game is just so much fun, it makes me angry. To the point where this game gets impossibly hard if you don't grind for two to three days. And you'll never get anywhere. Um, if you don't grind. This is the truth. You really won't get anywhere if you don't grind. I know you're over here. Where you going, dude? Um, all the weapons are different, you know. I, I also have a pistol, if I can change it. Yeah, I have a pistol. The pistol does more crit damage, which is debatably amazing. More crit damage for the win? Yeah, go for it. Um, there's several different kinds of missions where you have to defend. This one's a hunt mission where you have to just eliminate everyone in the ship. Um, you also have special abilities which you can move around with the mouse, and they're uh, hot mines with P, so if I could do it right here, I'll show you my- Oh, I missed it! Okay, but that's a, that's like a, a dash thing. That makes you immune to damage for a short amount of time. You know, gives you the gives you the buffs you need to whoop it. Whoop it, whoop it, whoop it. And you can't get be black. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but you, you, you have to buy the color black to use for your character, unless you're Excalibur, which is the first character. Uh, And, you know what, the game's almost over, and I'll, I'll be quite frank with you, this, this game is debatably good. I think I think the concept's awesome, I think the colors and the, and the art style's amazing, but I feel like it's missing some things to make the game good, like an actual system where I could get new stuff without trying extra hard and failing at it. Because if I could get new stuff all the time, you know, that would make the game a lot better, because people love new stuff, it's just like in Call of Duty, you know? Like, versus Battlefield. In Battlefield, you gotta level up one gun in, like, ten matches just to, you know, get the next gun. And in Call of Duty, you know, you can play, like, a couple matches, get to level ten, and get, like, four different new guns. And keep leveling up, and I think that's 
that's really important in most in most any kind of shooter at all is that you can keep leveling up and keep getting new stuff and you're not going to be bound to just one item like you do in this game so i give this game a middle thumb we're going to be improved greatly but otherwise it's it's pretty crap after the first you know couple days so until next time uh trashy's out leave a comment tell me some more disconnected thanks oh okay tell me some more mmos you guys want me to review um anything's in the cloud leave a comment below hit that like button you know until next time trashy's out